What's up guys, Taser Productions here and uh, today I'm here to help you guys learn how to sample in uh, Logic Pro. I know this is a hard concept, it was hard for me to grasp, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is create an audio track uh, and this audio track will obviously be your sample, so find your sample. Um, in Logic, you want your sample to be like either initialed or not too long because if it's too long, you'll get an error message saying file size too long and it's unable to play. So, um, it could be any kind of file, a wave, MP3, and anyways, it'll end up converting into the type of file it needs to be. Uh, so, <coughs> I'm going to sample the first four bars of this. <coughs> and um, so, I'll let you hear the sample. So that's the sample. Now, okay, first things first, you want to go here and go to metering and open up a BPM counter and just play your sample. So there it tells you the BPM of your sample, so I'm going to change mine to 81.8. So now, <coughs> What I'm going to do here is since I know that this is the only part that I'm going to use, I'm going to hit escape. It's going to bring up this menu, bring up my scissor tool, and I'm going to make that cut and just delete everything else. Um, the scissor tool is also what you can use for chops. Uh, so like say I wanted to chop here, I'd make a chop there, and a chop here, you know, chop there. But that's how you would normally chop it. Or while you're playing the sample, you can hit the uh, forward back forward backspace button and no chop <coughs> if you have a set to do that I like to do this because uh, I have experience with an NPC so I'm, on an NPC all the chops are equal so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here uh, and uh, right here to quarter and hit uh, command or I mean option wrong button and click and it'll just chop everything up equally just how I like it so um, next thing Oops. so next thing you want to do is you want to create a new track uh, make it a software instrument create um, and then open up your uh, sampler and make it stereo I always make my stereo then go to edit <coughs> And come over here, uh, go to first track, escape one, highlight everything, and drag and drop it in here, hit OK. So now you should see it's corresponding to all of my pads. Uh. Alright, so next thing you want to do is you want to hit group, new group, highlight everything, and drag and, oops, highlight everything again, gosh, and drag it into group one, come over here, click on uh, groups right here, and poly, change that to one, and, um, so now, so now it acts like an NPC because when you have your poly to max, it overlaps. Listen, we don't want it to overlap like that. And I realize I said over maps, <laughs> but um, so we want to change the poly to one. So those are all 16 pads on my MPD. So um, we're going to hit instrument, save as, uh, and I'm going to rename mine tutorial because I was making this tutorial earlier and I messed up. So save, <coughs> replace, and close out, and then open up the sampler again, and uh, change this to mono. This also helps them not overlap. So um, now we can pretty much just delete this track. and. Um, come up with something nice. Let's see what we can do here. So, 
That's not a nice loop. I didn't finish it or anything. But <coughs> I have to get into the next tutorial. Next part of this tutorial. So the next thing you want to do is uh, <coughs> add one audio track and add or add three audio tracks or how many uh, drums you're going to use and add one um, software instrument track and then go uh, I'm going to go and find my drum kits kick uh, just put random drums in so put three there and um, snares I'll put snare seven here and <coughs> excuse me probably put hi-hat one um, right here so um, I'm actually gonna put my hi-hats in a different one so I can mix them differently and um, repeat the process by going to your sampler instead this time though you're gonna make it mono uh, edit close out of that highlight your snare and your kick drag and drop them in okay um, and you can just save jumps there's not much editing you can do to these so just save them I'll save mine as tut drums save place and uh, I'm gonna repeat the process for my uh, hi-hats because I want to mix them down lower than everything else so uh, mono edit um, find my hi hat uh, instrumental save as I'll just name mine hi hat save so <coughs> then you can just delete these tracks and uh, so come on with the loops go with uh, our drum pattern and go with our loop record that really fast and then record some my hats Not the best beat, but that's just for tutorial purpose, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Taser Productions. I'm out.